All right, folks, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your BIOS for the Gigabyte Z370 ARIS Gaming 3 motherboard. This probably works for all the other gaming ones, to be honest with you. Uh, but I only have this one, so we cannot um, we cannot show you the other ones because I don't own them. But in this case, uh, we are the... Uh, March 2018 uh, revision, I believe, something like that. It's very, very old uh, BIOS that's on here. Uh, it did not support 9th gen. And that's the whole point of doing this because we've got a couple of 9th gen chips here, uh, one of which is the i5-9400F. Um, so we may put that one in there. Uh, we may try another one so we can overclock as well. But uh, let's go ahead. So basically you're going to search for Gigabyte Z370 ARS Gaming 3 or gaming, whatever your number is. I'm going to click on this one, which is the actual Gigabyte website. I would not recommend this other one. I don't know uh, if the same people own it, but it's really slow. Um, all right, so when we're in here, just like some of my other videos, you go to support and support. Okay. Then we want to look for the uh, BIOS which is right there and you see F13 so March 26 and mine was actually um, F5 so it was March 9th so you can see big difference and if you look over on the right here um, let's look at the right you see uh, different things that were done so somewhere in there they supported uh, Optane memory so my current computer would not support it um, don't know what this crap is. Boom. In October of 2018, they started supporting 9th gen processors and then Titan Ridge and then some more uh, future 9th gen ones. So March 15th and then uh, additional stuff here. So Optane compatibility with 9th gen. All right. So we want to download that and uh, F13. And it's always a good idea to uh, back up your uh, BIOS. Um, that said, you could just pretty much go to this website and get the version that did work. So as long as you know which one you had, um, that's what I would do. All right, so we're going to save it. Now, you know, sometimes people make this this mistake, so we don't want to we don't want to make a mistake. Um, we need to extract all, okay? And so there should be another folder. Now, we need a thumb drive, okay? So we're gonna put this on the thumb drive. And let's see, I have some folders. I might get confused, so let's, let's call this something that we're going to remember what it is. Okay, drop that in there. Alright, so now I'm going to pull the thumb drive out because it actually has the ability to boot, um, boot from, so we don't want to do that. Alright, so as we're doing this, and we see the screen, it says so hit delete to enter the BIOS. And we have done that. So now I'm going to take my thumb drive and I'm going to put it in there. All right. So, um, all right. So I had to run some parts of this again because the screen um, was out of focus, severely out of focus. So down below, we're going to go to Q Flash. This is where we're going to update our BIOS. Um, over there, we've got our thumb drive ready to go. So Basically, I will click on this and then search for the device, which is a HP thumb drive. Then I would look for my BIOS, which is right there. Okay, so at this point, I would click on that and then hit this button over here to actually run it. Um, since I've already done that, and you'll see as the video picks up, 
Um, hopefully it'll, some points it's blurry and some it isn't. Uh, apologize for that. We're going to click this button and she's going to update. So whatever you do, do not uh, leave um, or reboot your computer while this is happening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep recording because uh, something, you know, will happen towards the end of this. And uh, every time I pause it, I miss it. So if I, hopefully I go back and remember to cut out from about this point till uh, the end. All right, so we're back up, and let's go ahead and uh, get into Windows. All right, so um, should be able to check it this way. And so I done the Start menu. I typed in System Information F13 322 2019. So. We're good to go, ready to support 9th Gen. Alright, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.